Well, we're excited to go again. You know, I think we've brooded and felt sorry for ourselves long enough. It was nice to come back and see the players and how energized they were trying to get ready for this last one. Yeah, when you watch tape on Army, what's the first thing that stands out? Oh, they're, they're just like their typical military team. They're, they're disciplined, they fight, they come hard. Um, they're an awfully good football team that presents such unique problems for us because we don't see that all the time. Yeah, in their running game, what do you see specifically? Well, just the same, just the same option stuff that they do. They lead the fullback. You better tackle the fullback. You better tackle the quarterback. Uh, assignment football makes it tough because one guy misses an assignment and it's a big play. Defensively, uh, what are they presenting? They're defensively, they're, they're typical, like I say, typical military team. They they come after you. They don't quit. They get up. You knock them down. They get up. They're up faster than you can get up. It, it's going to be a real challenge, a real challenge for us. This last game coming up, it's senior night. How special has this uh, class been? Well, you have to admire them because uh, they were recruited by uh, the previous coach and uh, they hung in with us. They, you know, they didn't expect, they didn't know who we were when we got here. And you, you have to admire guys like that that hang in and try to do the best they can under some tough circumstances. You know, the previous staff did a good job recruiting them, and, and, uh, but they finished with us and, and hopefully we'll honor them. And I told him right this afternoon, this morning that People will honor them, but they in turn have to honor the people that are honoring them. How bad do you want for these kids to not have that distinction with you as well? That's not about me. It's about our players and, 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 and what they want to have done. What they don't want to have done. It's something seniors will remember this year. I remember this my senior in college like for the rest of your life. So it's not about me. Uh, it's about these young guys. Now for the program, getting a win and, and building on that in the offseason? Well, you, you, of course you want momentum going into the offseason. You know, but the recruiting is going pretty well so far. I think for the most part, Young people just just want to be recruited. You know, they want an opportunity to play. I don't think they look at that much, uh, but obviously we'd like to end it on a good note. Obviously. What is the message to the team heading into this last final game? Just to continue to play as hard as we can play. I mean, uh, what else can you tell them? You know, it, it, every game's a new game. You just play as hard as you can play. We stayed done for 11 games. I'm proud as heck of these young people. Okay, uh, how do you feel to finally get back out today after I mean, 11 weeks, 11 different games? How do you feel to get out for this final week of practice? Um, you know, it's tough for me, you know, because I've been here for so long. But it feels good to be here with my teammates on the last week, you know. So I'm going to cherish these moments with them. Yeah, these four years, I mean, what does, uh, what is being a part of this team, being a Rainbow Warrior meant to you? Um, it's kind of, it's like being a, being with, a, like, a family, you know. You, know, you have your brothers, you know, consider my coaches as, like, my uncles or something. <laughs> but, um... You know, being able to bond with each other is uh, something that is, that I'll, I'll always remember. Obviously, this season hasn't gone the way anyone expected, but how do you feel, if anything, that's made you guys closer? Um, uh, I mean, like, all these, through these losses? Yeah. Oh, well, it, it made us um all closer, you know, being able to come together, you know, and being able to talk about, like, all the things that has been going through, through with each other, and, um, but it's stuff that we have, that we're, like, 0 and 11, but, you know, we just stick it up together. What has been the message coaches have been saying to you guys heading into this week of practice? Um, keep our heads up, you know, I mean, there's going to be people out there that, you know, who, who probably won't believe in us, but you know, we just keep it as a group to like just stay together and keep believing that um, that this last game that it is ours to take. You know. This last game, um, Army's offense they uh, they lead the nation in rushing. What kind of uh, challenges do they present to you guys defensively? Um, it's gonna be a, a big challenge for us, you know, and we're gonna have like more people inside, you know, hopefully to. Hopefully to stop their runs. You know, also you know our DBs to help them stop their pass too. But mostly their runs. So our game plan is just you know doing our 111 as as a group. Being that you're a local boy, you saw 1998. And you saw what that team went through. And the rejuvenation after that. How bad do you guys not want to have that distinction of going 112 and to, to get a win to build momentum for this program? Um, you know, it's tough that I'm sure that they they went through the same thing as us. You know, people out there putting us down, but um, for us to keep staying together, we want to get this win to help us get started for next season. You know, I don't want 
the underclassmen feel the same way as we did as this year. You, being seniors, you guys have been through so much with this program, from the, the 2010 championship and the WAC to, to, to this season. What's been your favorite moment that, that you've been a part of as a Rainbow Warrior? It's my favorite part is, you know, being able to um, be able to meet a lot of new people, you know, every year. Uh, we always get freshmen coming in from all over the states, all over the islands, you know, and being able to like hang out with them, being able to bond with them, even with our coaches. So, you know, I'll, um, I'll be able to, you know, always remember that and cherish those moments. Is there anything specific you're going to miss the most about Saturdays out there in Las Vegas? Um, probably, you know, being around all the fans, you know, cheering, cheering us on, being loud. I guess I'm going to and also being out there with my brothers. Right, finally, uh, Thursday, Thanksgiving, do you have anything special planned? Is there anything in particular you're thankful for this year? Uh, I, of course, you know, I'm thankful for my family, you know, um, everything they've done. And I thank the team for, you know, letting me in and the coaches. So I'm thankful for all that. All right, Sean, this last week, uh, what's the, uh, the vibe heading into this final week of practice? Right? I think everybody's hungry. I think that's kind of been the vibe all season. Is We're trying to get over, you know, that you know that proverbial monkey off our back and get that first win. Um, so we're, we're hungry. You know, we're fighting. We're, we're going to fight like we have all season, and hopefully we come out with the, you know, on the right side of things. I mean, this season really hasn't gone the way anyone expected, but how do you feel like, I mean, as a senior, this has made the group tighter? It, it has. It has brought us together, and it is, you know, obviously we're all very disappointed with how the season has gone, but, you know, I'm still proud of, you know, the things we've done. You know, as, as crazy as that sounds, you know, we've, we've fought every week. We've given everything we've had every week, and that's really all you can ask for from, you know, your fellow teammates and yourself. So, um, you know, I, I am, you know, proud of what we've done in that regard. Uh, this ride, what has it meant to you being a Rainbow Warrior? It's something I take a lot of pride in. Um, it's been it's, it's a unique experience because not only are you representing, you know, this university, but you're re representing this great state. You know, and not many. I don't think there's any other programs in the in the country that you you have the opportunity to do that. So something to take a lot of pride in, and it's it's just, I have nothing but you know great things to say about my my opportunities here. Yeah, you coming in from last year. I mean, how um, I guess how much of a gaining life experience was it? You know, in this short amount of time. Definitely, you know, it's, you know, a lot of, you know, ups and downs, you know, through it. And it's, it's something that, you know, allowed me to grow as an individual. And um, again, I, I can't, can't say enough good things about this, this experience. So. Turning to Army, um, when you watch tape on them, what stands out to you defensively? They're, they're a unique defense. Um, actually, I have had the experience of playing them twice when I was at Duke. And um, just a unique defense, nothing you're going to see, kind of a different front, different coverages. And um, so they kind of try to confuse you. and. They do a good job of it, so you know, and they play hard, and that's that's evident on the film. The passing game has had a lot of success recently. Um, do you feel Army kind of with their personnel that is a, the unit is able to sustain that? We're we're gonna try. We're gonna try to you know be kind of balanced as we have because we've had success running Joey too. So um, we're gonna try to continue that as well. And you know, again, Army's gonna be a, a tough opponent because they do some things up front that are, that are tough and tough in the secondary as well. So how much more excitement is there to finally end this? I mean, this last, this last game. It, it's, it's, it's bittersweet because, you know, it's been a long journey. It's been a long five years, and, it, you know, potentially could be my last game, and it's, it's kind of it's weird to think about. I've been playing football for 15 years, and this could be the end of the road. So um, I think a lot of guys are in a similar situation. So it's, 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 it's interesting. It's, it's weird, and um, it's kind of hard to put in the words. So. Is there anything in particular you're going to try and savor on Saturday from Wilhaw Stadium, any kind of moments or any kind of you know, pregame or anything? Uh, just, you know, being the last few moments with my team, um, that's probably what I'm going to, you know, cherish the most and um, kind of have those memories for the rest of my life. For the program, how bad do you guys want this win to, to build momentum moving forward? Definitely do. You want to you know, build momentum to, to help the younger guys have something to build off of and, you know, have some sort of, I guess, excitement going into the offseason next season. So, yeah, definitely. Now, personally for you, you've gone through, you know, being the starter to, to getting injured, having back surgery, and then coming and working your way back. To have a game like that last week, um, I know you guys didn't win, but but personally, how good did that feel to, to put on a performance like that? It's it's tough because it's it's not it's not about individual performances or anything like that. It's a team sport, and when the team doesn't get it done, when we don't get it done, and you know we could have made more plays, I could have made more plays, and um, you know we it's just it's tough, yeah. So I, I don't look at it you know as an individual performance or anything like that. It's it's all about the team. So I know you guys are focusing on this game, but Thursday's Thanksgiving. 
you have any plans to, to go with any of the, the guys on the team for a, a family thing? And what are you thankful for the most this year? Um, actually, my, my parents are going to be able to come in on Thursday, get to spend with them and some, some friends. Um, so I'm, I'm thankful for, you know, friends, family, and my teammates, and, and just having the opportunity to play football. It's, you know, a lot of, a lot of things to be thankful for. So. All right, Chris, what kind of buzz is there heading into this final week of practice? I mean, the only type of buzz I'm hearing is we got to get a win. Got to get a win, got to leave on a high note. Um, this year, I mean, how, I mean, for you personally, it's been real special. Um, how was your time at Hawaii? Best time, best time ever. Uh, full of experiences and stuff like that. Uh, teammates, family, it's great, great experience, no regrets. Um, recently, you've had a lot of success for this offense. Um, just kind of, where, where has that been coming from? Uh, he's comes from all over. I mean, offense holds up, offense line holds up. A quarterback, Sean Stroder, he throws it up to me. I mean, gives me a chance, and I try to uh, come down with it every time. Yeah, does it kind of has it surprised you? I mean, that I mean, how open you've been getting recently, and just how many crucial plays you've been making? Yeah, I mean, uh, Joey's been bringing the DBs down ever since he got back, so I've been uh, able to see a lot more man coverage instead of uh, too high and stuff like that. So I think that definitely has an effect, and then. Uh, Showed him my roommates when coming to me and telling me we're going to do this, this game, we're going to do that, and it's been working out for us. When you watch tape on Army and you look at them defensively, do you see? Is there, is there a part of you when you're watching their uh, their defensive backs? Do you light up a little bit? Oh yeah, I, I, I start to get the big grin and I'm, I'm ready to go. We're definitely ready to go this week. They play a lot of man and we're ready to exploit that. Yeah, yeah. And could you talk a little bit more about what kind of you know their their man coverage and how it's going to be able to help this unit? Uh, I think it's going to be able to help the unit a lot. I mean. Uh, also, just in the run game, I mean, we're going to get up on those DBs, we get a chance to block them, hopefully spark some runs, some deep runs and stuff like that. When they sink in, they play true man. We just explode them over the top, uh, underneath, to try to make a guy miss. You guys have been so close so many times this season. What do you think you guys need to do to, to finally take that next step this week? Ah, we just got to have fun. Yeah, I mean, I think this game is, is all about having fun. That's definitely for me. I'm going to go out. Uh, win or win, because I'm not going to say win or lose. We're not losing this game. You know what I mean? We're just going to have fun. It's all about having fun. You can uh, and when, it, when is fun, so that's why I leave it. Is there anything in particular about Saturdays at Aloha Stadium that you're gonna miss? <sighs> Everything, the crowd. I mean, sometimes you might not have the biggest crowd, but it still gets loud in there. It still rumbles. I can still hear the ground rumble and stuff like that. And I remember just uh, from my visit, you know, stand up in the crowd, just watching Greg Salas and those guys just play their game. And it's, it's crazy that it's already here. It's already here. Long-term goals of the program. How bad do you guys want this win to build some momentum going into the offseason? Oh, definitely. I definitely want to uh, send my younger guys out on a high note so they can just carry momentum from uh, from this game to next year, spring ball, stuff like that. All right, Thanksgiving this week. You got any plans on Thursday? And uh, what are you most thankful for about this year? Uh, yeah, I definitely got some plans. My family's coming out. And uh, just kind of, well, it's my first time in, what, three years celebrating with my family. So it's kind of special. And I'm a... Uh, I'm thankful for all my experiences, you know what I mean? Uh, not everybody gets to play a game of football, especially in Hawaii every day, and uh, play at the level that I play at. So I think that's what I'm most thankful for. All right, uh, Coach, heading into this final week of practice, um, what's the message you want to preach to your unit? Uh, just finish. You know, I think that's uh, each and every week is a new week. Um, there's new challenges, uh, obviously a new opponent. So, you know, you just continue to send that message to go out, uh, practice as hard as you can, prepare the right way, and then uh, and then finish. You know, the last two weeks we were a possession short from being able to uh, achieve our goal of winning a game, and uh, it, it's no different in our approach this week. Uh, when you watch tape offensively of Army, they lead the nation in rushing. Um, what what are you telling your guys right now to kind of stop that? Oh, well, to play a, a great rushing team like this, you have to be disciplined, especially playing the opposite. So everybody has an assignment. Um, and as long as you do your 111th, like, you know, as coaches, we preach that each and every week. As long as you focus on your job and take care of your responsibility, your teammates will do the same thing. Everything else should fall into place. Um, playing an option team for a few weeks ago with Navy, how much is that experience going to help going into this game? Uh, it, it's helped a lot, you know, being able to the, see the pace, see the type of offense. They do a lot of similar things. Um, so we just got to be able to use a lot of recall. Um, obviously, we got some adjustments that we need to make. Um, because, you know, like Navy, they're going to 
they have that film on uh, for, of us being able to be and being exposed, you know, in terms of the running game. So, you know, we watch film, we clean that up with the guys. So we're looking forward to the challenge. It's going to be tough, but we're looking for the challenge. Uh, last game, it's senior night. You have had the opportunity to, you've seen a lot of these guys come in. You helped recruit them. I mean, I'll, how special has this class been for you? Uh, you know, this class is, is, uh, is special in the sense of what they had to go through, you know. It's been a, a tough, long year for them. But, you know, they've, they've taught me a lot through this process, you know, and, and uh, you know, each senior, senior class brings something to the table. And these guys, if there's something to remember them by, it's just their resilience, you know, being able to come out each and every week. It's not the easiest thing to come out each and every week, uh, knowing that you've lost a game. But each and every week they come out with the mindset to try to get a win, try to get better. And that's uh, hopefully the young guys learn that from them, you know, to be resilient through the good and the bad. And, uh, you know, I think that's something that's going to help propel the guys for next year, too, as well. But these guys, um, senior night's a very special night. I've done it as a player to, to myself. So, uh, you know, my heart goes out to them. A lot of them have, are champions. They've won championships, been to bowl games throughout their career. So, obviously, it's a tough thing for them to be able to go through this. But just to see their resilience throughout the year, that's something that, that I'll be able to take away, too, as well. You talk about tough being having to go through this. Um, you, you had to go through 1998. Um, what do you tell these guys this week, knowing that you don't want them to have to go through the same thing and, and to have that distinction? You know, it's just it's just a matter of just going out there and just playing for each other. You know, you love each other. You spend so much time with each other. You spend more time with each other than you do with your own your own family, and just go out and just play for each other. You know, that's that's one thing um, that you can just share with the guys throughout the week. Is just prepare as hard as you can. Um, you know, when you talk about this is your last time, this is the actual last time they get a chance to play together. So the group would never be the same. You know, so you take that in the heart as you prepare in the weight room, you prepare and study in film. Um, just give that much more, you know, and if we just all can do that, take care of our assignments, I think Saturday will take care of itself. Now, obviously, as a former player and now a coach, you love this program. Um, how bad do you want this momentum to pick up into the offseason with a win? so that you guys can see the, the turnaround that you saw from 1998 to 1998. Right. You know, that's that's something that, uh, you know, as a coaching staff, as a, as a group, um, as a football team, we, we all want to be able to accomplish this, you know, especially for our seniors. We want to finish the right way. Um, you know, I wouldn't want anybody to have to go through what we did in 1998. Uh, everybody obviously talks about 0-12 in that season, but we were 0-18, 0-19 I've gone through in that, that period of time. But, you know, that period of time, as low as it was, I've, I've learned so much as, as a man growing up, going through life obstacles. And, you know, these guys would be able to take that too as well. Football's a great, uh, a great teacher. You learn a lot of life skills. And these are some I know these guys will, will be better for, you know, as we kind of go on. But, you know, we want to win this game for the seniors, definitely.